Hello everybody, I'm back to make another video this time. I'm going to be talking a little bit about this big guy here. Uh, its name is a uh, Violet Gobi. On uh, the pet stores you can, uh, it will probably be named a dragon fish or a dragon eel. Um, it is a really cool fish to have inside your aquarium. It probably should be kept in a large aquarium probably. 55 gallons or so. It uh, will get big over a foot. It prefers to be in brackish water. It can live in salt and fresh water. It's a really durable fish. He'll eat things off the bottom of your tank. Uh, I feed him shrimp pellets, omega-1 shrimp pellets, and also I feed him some carnivore sinking pellets. So I'll put some in and we'll see what it what they look like when they're feeding. But as you can see in this tank, there is a lot of fish. A lot of small fish that it, it could potentially eat if you wanted. I've not seen them go after any fish. I've pretty much seen the guppies almost swimming in its mouth when I feed it, so I just drop a little bit in here. Put some in for the other fish to do. And where is he? See so he'll sense the food pretty soon here. You know, go around and like suck it right up off the gravel. Oh, but that's just a uh, <laughs> pretty awesome fish. And as far as I know, it won't eat little babies because if you look closely over here, I have guppies breeding in my tank. There's about 15 or more babies. You can see them all back by the rocks. Which is really cool. None of the other guppies have eaten them. They've been in there for three or four days now. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, the dragonfish. Cool fish. Get one if you got a big tank. They live for a long time. With a really cool look at. It's just like a prehistoric fish living inside your tank here. And they do swim around. Mine's been in here for like, I don't know, a few months or something, so he's used to the tank. But they are blind, or pretty close to blind. Let's see if I get them to stop moving one more time, I'll show you his eyeballs. It's a hundred percent planted tank, driftwood rocks. I don't fertilize the water column. All I do is put a uh, root tabs in for the Amazon sword, the onion plant, and all this octopus stuff over there. Oh yeah, I got a rope. Yo, this will be kind of. Oh, did he just bite the freaking? Pleco. This fish I'll talk about next time. Make a video of slithering in the back back there. That's a, a rope fish or a rope eel. Where the hell did that dragonfish go? They really all the fish love those shrimp pellets by Omega One. Yeah, but I swear to God, I just saw the rope, the rope eel try to bite my pleco. There he is. Looks pretty badass, though. And that thing will get huge. I don't know if I'm going to keep him for his entire lifespan. I'm going to probably donate him. Because I'm sure he will get some of these guppies. 
Oh, here's the dragonfish. You can see how little his eyes are. But the Ropio was having a hard time wanting to eat anything but blood worms. And then uh, I started putting little shrimp pellets in there and he started eating them like crazy. He loves them. Let's see if he eats one. Get him to eat. Uh, even the Pleco likes the shrimp pellets. Yeah. Anyways. Have a good night. See you around. God bless.